works. Okay. Is it changed? Yes, yes. The second slide, the third slide. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, I guess everything is clear. Okay, I stop share first. Uh -huh. Uh, dear colleagues, uh, may I record this uh, video meeting? Yes, certainly. Thank you. Navita? Yes, sir. How are you? As I can see, uh, you are wearing the mask. I'm fine. <laughs> Actually, I am. Everything is okay with your health? Yeah, it's okay, sir. Thank God. Mm -hmm. what, what is the situation in your country with coronavirus or Omicron? Um, high session maybe. Yes, Miss Adi, if Mr. Adi is high session like in Indonesia. Mm. Mm. Hope everything will be okay. Okay, yeah, thank you. With all of us, thank you. Okay, it's 10 o'clock. Uh, if possible, uh, let's wait for uh, two minutes here yeah, and we may start. Uh -huh. Thank you.
Dear colleagues, dear students, hello everyone. Uh, today we have the first uh, visit and lecture from uh, our good partner, uh, University of uh, Science and Computer Technology, Stockholm University, Indonesia, Central Yala. And uh, I would like uh, to introduce Professor Adi. Uh, the, today's topic is digital image base, uh, based uh, face detection and recognition algorithm. So I think we may start. Professor, please, if everything is okay, you may start. Okay. Okay, thank you for the time from Mr. Melikov. Uh, I would like to uh, show my presentation about uh, digital image based face detection and the connection algorithm. Okay, uh, this is first, uh, I'm talking about this because uh, uh, in the digital face detection and recognition, when we start to learn this, uh, usually we get uh, confused because there's so many methods, so many methods. And I uh, and I uh, speak on the on the on the open CV. Uh, so it's just on the open CV. There's a lot of methods, and maybe there's another method in the other uh, computer vision program, but. Uh, I'm only discuss in OpenCV. Okay, first uh, I would like to introduce myself. Okay, my name is Setio Adinukroho, and you can call me. You can call me ID for the simple one. And uh, first I study in economy, and then uh, I have a computer. Then uh, it changed me, and I get a job and become a designer, became a software designer, software developer, and then uh, I study again in the State University in computer. And then uh, I finished my master on the Anuswandoro University. And I mostly teach in digital imaging, 3D, uh, Blender, Slack Blender, 3D Mac, and AR, and augmented reality, and virtual reality. Okay, uh, start to discuss the about the the face detection. Okay, uh, in this in this material, I only uh, talking about the algorithm that available in OpenCV. There's another computer vision, but I choose OpenCV because uh, is uh, is uh, open. Is used in uh, is is free and uh, it have uh, ability to run in many operating system, in all operating system, in, in desktop or mobile, and it's used Java, this Java language, Python, and C++, that is uh, very common uh, in the programming. And, okay. First, uh, I would like to talking about face detection. Uh, face detection, uh, we must differ, differ between face detection and facial recognition. Sometimes people uh, say that facial recognition is the same with facial detection. It's uh, different and the term is not used interchangeably. Face detection only involves the detection only involves the detection of a face with digital image or video. It simply means that the face detection system can identify that there were human face present in image or video. It cannot identify that person. Okay, so face detection is a technology that already uh, well known before the dislike open CV exists. Uh, I know but the face detection is about in 19, maybe uh, 2006, 2007, where camera start is start to have a feature that detect face for the focusing. In a, in a camera, it's not in a, it's not in a mobile phone because 
at that era, mobile phone is not a smartphone. Uh, there's no technology uh, like uh, just like now. And application of face detection, maybe you can see just like in the camera on the smile detection and face detection and AE focus or in the Canon usually call servo focus that it can change the focus uh, of the camera. And this is uh, the technique called face face detection. While face facial recognition, facial recognition is the other hand in the in the other hand takes to the next level. That means uh, is a step after the face detection. It will be facial recognition. This is take to the next level and is able to recognize and identify the detect face based on match storage in the database. So when we are talking about facial recognition. We have to do a learning process. I mean, uh, we have to have an image that become a learner, become uh, something that been studied and compared to image in the that taken from the camera. Facial recognition is uh, have an advantage in a biometric, mostly in biometric system for identification. Individual can be identified from distance without need of physical contact. Normally, it's necessary. The physical contact is necessary with system based on fingerprint and iris recognition. Okay, we know fingerprint. We have to touch the scanner. Iris recognition is even scary because uh, I ever uh, doing uh, research with someone and I make a camera for iris recognition using infrared, near infrared technology. And I have to make a camera that point a light on my eye. Iris recognition is uh, very scary for me. Uh, it's it's uh, uh, maybe, uh, I'm afraid that my eyes got damaged because of this technology. So uh, facial recognition is uh, maybe the most simple the most safe method on the biometric. Uh, facial detection and facial recognition are both carried using digital image or video footage. So uh, this both uh, only need a digital image or if not, there's no digital image, you can use a camera, some video camera, just like a webcam or even a bigger camera, just like a CCTV. Uh, this can be used for face detection and facial recognition. Okay, this is the example of uh, my test using Python. Uh, this is a fa facial detection. This is a facial recognition. Well, this is a same, same look, but it have a different uh, approach because it have to be able to detect who the one in here. Okay, this is the difference between face detection and facial recognition. Facial recognition have to be able to detect uh, someone in the image. Okay, this is the process. The process of implementation on the facial recognition. This is the image input image phrase from a uh, camera. Well, it process and detect by face detection algorithm, and then process by face recognition algorithm, and it have to be matched with training image. Training image is image that we collect before. So that means this is image of Adi. This is image of Novita. And this is a, as an example of the training image. We have to collect the image from the training, and then compare with image that taken from the camera. If it match, then this is an example for attention system. If it match, then it's, uh, it's count as uh, someone has attend the meeting. This is just an example. There's another a lot of example on application in the facial recognition.
sorry. Hmm. Okay, uh, next. Okay, uh, my presentation is about a logarithm, but I not discuss uh, when a logarithm because when we discuss a logarithm, when a logarithm, it, it may take time if I discuss it completely. And there's a lot of calculation, a lot of uh, process, a lot of uh, mathematics equation. Uh, I'm not discussing about that. I just, uh, uh, I just explain what is the face detection that available, the algorithm of face detection that available in often CV. Okay, and the first one is the algorithm of hair cascade. Hair cascade face detection is and the first one, uh, the first one, uh, machine learning, yet, yet running, that uh, use real time face detector, that the first one that running is uh, start on the year 2001 and is also well known with name of Viola Jones. So maybe if you set the code for the face detection, you find her cascade or uh, Viola Jones is, is the same. Her cascade and Viola Jones. Actually, the first one is her feature and is uh, being uh, uh, is is uh, is have a repair or uh, is uh, is is have a improvement by the code from Paul Viola and Michael Jones. This is the example of her feature. Her feature creating a block that detect each uh, each part of image. This is like uh, each part of image like this. And there's another process like Adebus and uh, classifier, but this is uh, the basic of her cascade. Her cascade is uh, machine learning. So her cascade is not deep learning. Her cascade, it using a detection image on the on the page on the image, not based on the many image. So her cascade uh, have a pro and have a cons. Okay, uh, this is the next one. Her cascade, her cascade have ability is have a pros work almost real time on CPU. Her cascade is easy, it's easy, it's light, it's simple. It's simple architecture, yes, it's simple. The code is small. It detects face at different scale. So uh, is, uh, is it far or is it close? It's still able to detect the image. But there is a cons, and the major drawback is if give a lot of false prediction. Yes, it is, uh, I have test and uh, sometimes it's counting my hand as my head. Okay. Have a lot of give uh, false prediction, and the the most uh, the, the 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 most drawback is is not work on the frontal image. It's not work on the frontal image. So uh, if you record a human with on the left side, or maybe see uh, look at turn, uh, it won't detect. Then it doesn't work under occlusion. Uh, so when two people and the other one is on the back side, so it's only the one who have a facial, uh, have a frontal image on the front is the one detect. The one who only have a health office is cannot be detect. Okay. This is the, the hard cascade face detection. And the next one is the improvement for the hard cascade. 
is using a deep learning is using deep neural network ah, oh. okay do i still share excuse me okay still share okay deep neural network Please use a method using a deep learning. Is use a single shot multipop. Is use a single shot multipop detector. Ah, uh, sorry. Single shot multipop detector and use ResNet 10 architecture as a backbone. The model was trained using image available from the web, but the source is not disclosed. So, uh, because this is a deep neural, uh, so uh, there's a lot of source of image to be able to be used as a classifier, uh, as a library. And OpenCV in the this method, in the this method, they use a uh, tool different system is called a cafe model and tensor flow so uh, if you take a look at in the internet you learn about uh, face detection there is a face detection using tensor flow tensor flow is ah uh, uh, this is a uh, this is tensor flow is a system using deep neural network there is a system called cafe model you can see in the internet using face detection, face detection using cafe model. There's a lot of food about this. Okay, this is the example of deep neural network of face detection uh, detector. So uh, there's a lot of image, a lot of image that uh, study using a uh, neural network. And this uh, create the output layer that can give a uh, more library that uh, more library that, that can uh, that, that can give uh, face detection better than hard cascade. Okay, this is the pro of the deep neural network. The method has a following merit. First is the most accurate. This method have the most accurate between four methods. Uh, uh, only, I still discuss only two. Uh, the next one, there's uh, another one. Uh, there's an, uh, two, two another method. This is the most accurate between the four methods. It's run real time on the CPU. Work for different phase orientation. Up, down, left, right, side, etc this is work because uh, there's uh, because the system of deep neural network can can collect a lot of information from the thousand of image it work even under substantial occlusion so uh, if we have uh, somebody uh, behind me uh, somebody behind behind the object it still can be detected as long as there's a uh, enough data to detect the the occlusion one detect face across various scale ah this is uh, overcome all the drawback are cascade face detector without compromising of any benefit provided by her cascade so this is uh, well known as the best method in the face detector And the other one is Hawk, histogram of oriented, oriented gradient. This is a widely used face detection model based on Hawk feature, histogram of orient gradient feature, H of G, sorry, and SVM. This model built of five H of G filter, front looking, left looking, right looking front looking but uh, rotate left and front looking right but front looking but rotate right 
This module can embed in the header file itself. Okay, and the, the good one from the HOG is, is uh, explain that the image is consistent, the trainer is consists of 2825 image which obtained from LF, LF, W, label face in the wild data set and uh, annotated by David King, the author of the link. Okay, this is the method of histogram of oriented gradient. This is the text based on histogram gradient. This is uh, usually this method is not this HOG method is not only run on the face detection, but is also used in the uh, object detection. Many object detection is based on HOG. Okay, and the process is fastest method on CPU. Okay, this is why uh, HOG is the most popular in the use in the use of uh, uh, facial detection because uh, HOG is the fastest and well work well in the frontal and not frontal. It's lightweight model compared to the other three. Work under small occlusion, so that means uh, when we have uh, somebody in behind me, uh, behind us, maybe still can be detected. The module drawback is is not detect small face, as is trained for minimum face size of 80 to 80 pixel. Just you need to make sure that the face size should be more than that in your application. Okay. Uh, this is minimum size of 80 to 80. That means uh, if you use a small camera, small uh, small camera that maybe uh, have a resolution PGA resolution just like a six six hundred by four hundred pixel, the image the, the object must be close enough. Maybe you can detect. Uh, Small, smaller image if you if you use a bigger camera. The burning bug often, often exclude the part of forehead and even part of chin. Doesn't work well under substantial occlusion. Doesn't work for side face and extremely non-frontal face, like looking down or up. The next one, the last, the last, the last one is convolution, convolutional neuron network. Face detection in daily. This method use maximum margin object detector. With CNN based feature. So you don't need a large amount of data to train a custom object detection. The model, the model can be downloaded from the lib model repository. This is the example of population neural network in the in the Delib. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, this is a uh, have a uh, pros work on the different face orientation. It's have a different orientation and top is to occlusion. So it it able to detect uh, somebody behind us. It work very fast on CPU. And this is the maybe this is the, the problem if you have a computer that uh, low on CPU. Very easy training process. The cons is very slow on CPU. Does not detect small face as is training for face of 80 by 80. It's almost same bit HOG. The boarding box is even smaller than the OG detector. The, 
then it's OG detector. Okay, and that's the for that's for a uh, logarithm in the first year detection. So uh, when you want to when you want to make a facial detection software, uh, you just seek the information is, uh, I want to make a facial recognition based on hair state. I want to make a facial recognition based on the cafe model. I want to make a facial recognition based on HOG. Okay, the, uh, this is the, the use of the algorithm. Okay. The next one is recognition. Facial recognition is uh, identification of facial recognition is compared between input facial image with all facial image from a data set. So uh, when we talk, we look at the camera, when we look at the camera, camera capture human and that the human after detect by face detection, and then it process with the data set that contain a lot of facial image, and try to find which one is match with the face on the camera. Okay, this is the facial recognition. Okay, there's a different type of facial recognition algorithm. For example, I can face Fisher face, LBP, local binary pattern, scale invariant feature transform, speed up robust feature. Okay, uh, I will discuss just a little in here. Aiken face is a refer to an appearance based on approach of face recognition that seeks to capture the variation of collection of image and use the information to encode and compare image of individual face in a holistic manner. The Eigen face is considered by many to be the first working facial recognition technology, and it served the base of one of the top commercial face recognition technology product. It extracts the relevant facial information with may or may not be directly related to human, human intuition of face feature, just like eyes, nose, and lips. Uh, one way to do so is to capture the statistical variation between face image. This represents face image efficiency. To reduce the computation and space complexity, each face image can be replaced using a small number of parameters. Okay, this is an example of eigenface. Eigenface is try to compare between image by uh, this kind of method. Okay, maybe if you want to uh, read more in the in about eigenface, uh, you can click the link on my presentation. I will send the presentation. And the other one is facial face. Fisher face uh, is almost looks like an Aiken face. Fisher face is a uh, is a improvement from Aiken face because Aiken face is a powerful powerful way to represent that data. Uh, but when we the goal is classification rather than representation, the uh, least square solution may not yield the most desirable result. Again, first use method of least square, so least square. The technique derived to achieve the goal is known as discriminant, discriminant analysis, analysis. The most known discriminant analysis is linear discriminant, discriminant analysis. is derived from the idea of R. E. Fisher in 1936. Okay, so this is called the, it's have a call, it's called Fisher face. 
is the technique of fixed face. Usually, fixed face and eigen face is almost exact, uh, almost run, uh, have a result almost the same. And the next one is the most uh, well known, uh, well known algorithm. It's called local binary pattern. Local binary pattern is label the pixel of an image by resolving the neighborhood of each pixel, consider the result of binary number. Due to discriminative power and computational simplicity, LBB texture operator have become popular approach in various applications. Its robustness to monochronic grayscale change caused by example illumination variation. Its comput computational simplicity, which make it possible to analyze image in challenging real-time setting. The LBP, the uh, locally binary pattern is, uh, I guess this is the most uh, used in the face recognition technology because it's uh, tend to lightweight and uh, have a fast performance between the other uh, method. This is an example of uh, how the process of local binary pattern or LPP. The other one is scale invariant feature transform. Scale invariant feature transform is an image descriptor from image based matching and recognition developed by David Lowe. This is uh, the shift. It's mostly used for the image detection, not only uh, face detection. This descriptor, as well as relate image descriptor, are uh, used for a large number of purposes in computer vision. Relate to point matching between different view of 3D scene and view based object recognition. This is the descriptor has been proven to be very useful in practice for image matching and object recognition under real world conditions. The use of shift usually in the try to detect just like a pedestrian or a cat or a running car. Uh, it use a uh, usually it use a method of uh, scale invariant feature transform. Okay, this is the, the process and maybe if you want to know more, you can click the, click the link on the presentation and maybe you can try to find the, the, the technology of uh, scale of invariant feature transform. Okay. And the scale variant in feature transform is well known for the ability of detecting uh, object, detecting object in the in the in the in the in the real time. In the, uh, not only just uh, face, but it can recognize a car or cat or something. And the last one is the self. The self method is a uh, is a is a speed up robust feature. It's a fast and robust algorithm for local similar similarity invariant representation and comparison of image. The main interest of the self approach lie on its fast computation of operator using POC filter. This enable a real time application such as tracking and object recognition. Okay, this is the POC system of uh, self method. And the result is uh, like this. 
Oke, okay. uh, and about the performance, uh, I see in the uh, in the a lot of in the lot of uh, journal. Usually they show they they do a lot of comparison between uh, face recognition between uh, five uh, logarithm and <coughs> The best one is is really is LDP. Okay, this is the literature that if you want to if you want to read. Okay, uh, I guess is this is and maybe I just want to share about uh, my experience in the face recognition. Facial recognition and face detection is really depend on the camera, on the camera. And I have test on the, I have test on the between two camera. The performance is a lot of different. This is I try using uh, CCTV, CCTV. So I want to have to do in the research using uh near infrared near infrared camera because CCTV have a near infrared system and this is the logitech standard your logitech this is a bigger than this the, res the re resolution is different this is faster so the smaller the the the, the smaller image will be detect faster than the bigger image the, the, the bigger resolution camera this is a lower resolution and this is a higher resolution this is a hd camera and this is a pga camera and the result is faster in this but maybe if you want to detect something that's too far away this will be uh, useless because this cannot create a Square image that uh, provide information in the just like uh, your HOG system at least 80 pixel. So this is a uh, one run. And the next one, when we are talking about face detection, is you you uh, when we are talking about not only face detection when you talking about camera, the condition is uh, have a lot of result, uh, have a different different condition have a different result different lighting different camera and the, the mood maybe the 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 people that working on the on the camera is also have a, a lot of uh, have a lot of impact on this uh, face detection method Okay, uh, I guess uh, this is uh, on my own, my presentation is on the like this. Uh, maybe from the from the member of this visiting lecture uh, have any question? Please uh, raise hand or or just write on the write on the chat box. Okay, who's the right hand? Okay, Indonesia. <laughs> okay, uh, please. Please, uh, uh, okay. Hello, Mr. Muhammad Sultan. Hello, Mr. Adi. Uh, thank you for this opportunity to uh, have a question. Maybe my question is more to the application side rather than the conceptual one. Currently, I'm working for the uh, human development unit of small and medium enterprises in East Java municipalities. This question is addressed may, maybe to Mr. Adri, Mr. Ari, sorry. Do you think ah. can we optimize? Oh, Mr. Adi, sorry, Pak. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> uh, do you think can we optimize the usage of the face recognition application on the field of businesses? Maybe uh, what is the most suitable platform that you can recommend it for like uh, small and medium enterprises in uh, uh, face recognition technology? And my second question is maybe to the address it to the all the uh, Ukraine's colleagues in this room. Uh, 
Make, uh, can you share how about in Ukraine does uh, any colleagues in Ukraine campus have experiencing on the effects recognition application on small and medium enterprises? Thank you very much for your uh, answer. Okay. Okay. Uh, face recognition or face detection. This is the, the question. Uh, if we are talking about face recognition, that means we have to be able to collect the data to be to uh, to be a learner in the in the learning process. So uh, if you want to make a presentation from the from uh, somebody who came to the to the uh, to the factory, uh, maybe uh, you have to collect the image and convert the data. This is uh, for the presentation the the no, no, the, the absent absence uh, absence percent <laughs> for the attendance for the attendance and the face recon, face detection maybe is useful for just a face re, face detection just a face detection when we are talking about the market we want to count how many how much people enter the market and you only need a face detection not a face recognition. So you just count how much people came to this market and you can do this like statistic process. And this is uh, maybe useful for for uh, for the for the the small company. And maybe if we want to talk about the the small company, uh, I remember because uh, before in here I worked before in Stecom, I work in the government. Uh, we, we maybe not only face detection, but image detection. Image detection is maybe uh, you just uh, detect which one the apple get bad, which one the apple is good. And this is maybe more important than face detection. This is maybe uh, more important than face detection for maybe uh, just like a small company to detect uh, what is Bad, what is good, and this is uh, talking about the object detection. Okay, I guess that's the question. And maybe uh, from the Mama Sultan, maybe uh, from Mr. Meliakov, maybe you can help about is there any development in the in the Ukraine for uh, technology in the facial detection. Dear colleagues, uh, first of all, I should note that it's not my field here, yeah? so uh, I don't work with uh, such issues. Uh, besides, uh, I think uh, at our university there is no such a possibility to uh, develop uh, such constructions, such uh, algorithms at present, so um, I can't say something uh, clear uh, concerning that question. Ah oh, okay, okay. Uh, I have a question for Mr. Pallery Mezinsko. Uh, the software you present is more convenient to use. Okay, uh, I only discuss about OpenCV for Mr. Mazurenko. Sorry, Mazurensko. For Mr. Mazurenko, I'm talking about OpenCV. But OpenCV is use uh, three can be used in three application Java or C++ or Python. Python is easy if you know. C++ is more, yeah, C++ is the, the piece of the mother of the software. So it's better if you use uh, C++ again. But if you just want to test, maybe uh, Python is okay, but and the Python is based on the, just like, uh, uh, based on just like, uh, Raspberry Pi and Arduino, eh, uh, sorry, and uh, Android. So, uh, this depends on uh, where you want to use it. If you want to use it on the PC, maybe you use C++, but if you want to use it on the other part, maybe you can use uh, uh, Python. Okay, that's uh, my question for Mr. Masurensko. If there's any question from Mr. Mazurensko.
Okay, this is the question for Alex Rosenko. The higher the high resolution camera is faster. Uh, no, the lower com the lower resolution camera is faster, but the higher resolution camera is better. Uh, so if you detect eye or face ID to pass for you commonly use high resolution camera. Uh, maybe uh, maybe I make a mistake when I talking about the camera. The lower the the lower resolution camera is faster, but the big the big resolution camera is better because it give uh, more con more is is give more uh, information. But if you use a uh, low spec computer this is a uh, create a, a lot of a uh, different yeah maybe you just try using uh you see uh, face detection on the just like core to duo or maybe dual core just try it and you your webcam will be slightly slow run slow run very slow because i have test on the dual and then the core to duo and the core i5 is have a lot of process a lot of different in the speed. So the higher resolution will be better. It can detect a small area, but yes, it's slower. It's, it's require a better computer. Okay, this is my answer for Alex Sinko. It's good to use encoding face image into a two when when 28 uh, dimensional vector to compare a view face okay i use encoding face image into a one dimensional vector i guess this is a uh, mr lucenco is uh learning in the in the in the process making yeah and maybe uh, I, Mrs. Lusenko is more no than I because uh, I applied the the system. I applied the, the system of face recognition, not not design, not not learning into the basic of the basic of the 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 algorithm. But uh, in my opinion. Because uh, I'm an Indonesian, I'm a poor man, a poor country. There's uh, using you see uh, higher uh, complicated technology. Sometimes it's not good because uh, maybe we're not ready with all the with all the the with all the the, the processing. The it not is need a lot of. Uh, you need a lot of power on the you need a lot of brain in the computer so uh, i guess uh, maybe if you just like talking about the dnn between the 68 and 8 bit and i guess uh, i will just 8 bit for the fast perform okay this is the uh, my my answer for Alex Rosensko. Okay, maybe uh, Mr. Alex, can you explain about the technology of face detection in the Ukraine? I think you really know about the technology of the face detection. Okay, uh, where is Mr. Alex? Are you still? Are you still in here? Oh, eight more message. Hello. <laughs> Uh, as for the use, yeah. As for the use of the uh, face detection in Ukraine, yeah. I know that okay. our largest bank, uh, which is Privat Bank, introduced a technique which is called "pay with your face." Pay I know with that. Your face. Yes. Okay. So instead of instead of presenting your uh, banking card or even. Uh, the device was the short range of electronic communication. And they use this technology of pain with your face. So they, the terminal recognizes a person and then the payment is arranged. And then the person has to manually confirm the payment. 
But mm. I have not seen it working so far. You know, I know that they have introduced it somewhere, but I have not seen it working. Maybe I just did not pay much attention to such things, you know. I am a little bit old-fashioned and uh, not prone to <laughs> new technological advances. Yeah. yeah, and I have a question. Uh, that is, you know, you mentioned some algorithms are faster, some are more slow. So what is the actual computing power is, uh, that is required for detection phases or recognizing phases, in fact? in real time, that is in a reasonably short time, in a matter of several seconds. Uh, I guess, uh, I don't know, uh, but uh, what should be used for the, the process, but I use uh, Core i5, it's still working perfectly. It's, it's still working. It's still, there's a lag on the, on the HD camera, but I don't have a 4K camera. Maybe the technology now is a 4K camera. For camera is a huge data, a huge pixel, and will be more slower. But when I use uh, for, uh use uh, uh Core i5, it's still okay. It's still run. It's still mm. run perfectly. It still can detect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then you know there are many moral questions. Uh, related to phase detection. Are they considered by specialists or only by philosophers, politicians, and just common people? Yeah, uh, I guess the phase detection is not... Um, I have using three biometric system. I have uh, tried using three bi biometric system and the 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 worst is face detection. The worst, but it's uh, easy to, to prepare. It it can uh, maybe if you want to uh, to check someone using fingerprint, uh, it will be hard for for you to uh, please uh, put your fingerprint in here when we are try to to know someone who working on the oh. pedestrian, but. Uh, when we use face detection, it's easier because uh, you can detect someone without someone know that you will you will detect. You can use it just like CCTV, just like a uh, camera, just like a pen camera, just to detect that you exist. And this is maybe a uh, more in the in the technology that that maybe is is. is have an impact in the in the future in the in the maybe just like politic or war or something because it's easier than fingerprint and uh, and uh, iris recognition and and yeah I see uh, a lot of try development and in 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 even in Indonesia they try to build a tank using a face detection and it should. Uh, 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 they try to build a small tank, just a robotic tank, uh, and it should uh, fall to somebody's face. And this is maybe uh, can be developed into something that uh, even bigger. Detect object, detect someone, and, and this is a, a future technology. But actually for the biometric, I'm not uh, really expect uh, better than Iris recognition or fingerprint recognition. Iris recognition is the best, but it's scary because it has uh, put eye, uh, light on our eyes. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I see. It's definitely, definitely, this, this technology needs to be developed yeah. despite the fact that it can be misused by some people, <laughs> but still, yeah, it has to be developed. It's not uh, the technology that is to blame for misusing of it. Yeah. So thank you for your uh, answers. And uh, yeah, there are some other people who want to ask uh, okay. questions. Okay, thank you. Supriya, uh, I try to answer Mr. Supriyadi. What is uh, head camera, resolution camera for education technology? technology? Uh, 
Resolution camera for education, education, uh, yes, is just follow your money. Simply just follow your money. The more, the, the higher resolution, of course, is, uh, have a higher price. So uh, I guess uh, standard webcam, just like a webcam in uh, about uh, 50 ribu, ya, yeah? uh, uh, 70 ribu lah, but five dollar is also can be used. Just for uh, education, just a cheap webcam is good enough for you to train. As you can see, I use a uh, art art uh, CCTV is still can run well. Okay. Uh, now this is the answer for electrician. So they use is best well input best image uh, and tensor. Oh, uh, it's using tensor. TensorFlow. Oh, TensorFlow. Sorry, I don't have <laughs> Okay. Okay, thank you. This is the, the explanation from Mr. Alex Usenko. He used uh, TensorFlow. And it's metric. Okay. <laughs> Because, uh, to be honest, I just used the, 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 the explanation of my... The... the, the, the the uh, what I want to in in this presentation is if someone want to learn face recognition, they will read this and oh, I want to use a hard cascade on Python. Oh, I want to use hard cascade using uh, LBP for uh, facial recognition in uh, Python or in C++. Using this, you will get a lot of code in, in the in internet. That's why I choose OpenCV because uh, when we are talking about open software, it's usually everyone is also open. They make a code and they will share the code. And you can just use it and you can repair it and you can free it again. Okay, that's, that's, uh, that's my question, eh, my answer. Okay. So uh, am I ask you um add something about the face detection in Ukraine? Maybe it yeah. will be interesting to know. Okay. Uh, so uh, actually, as you know, it's more used in uh, like security, mm -hmm. security ways uh, in airports, especially. Airport, as I saw. Okay. Yes. Previously, when you go into passport control, you have a small camera that detects your face. And compare it with the face on uh, that your ID that set. or uh, okay. Uh, uh, do you know about the resolution of the camera? The resolution, um, it seems like it's uh, also Logitech, and seems like yeah, it's a, have a good resolution. Mm, okay, Logitech webcam is have a various price, range from about a hundred. Uh, about ten dollar to about twenty uh, or uh, about uh, five fifty dollar I guess. Uh, Logitech webcam is uh, have a various price, have a various uh, type that start from uh, good until very good. Okay. Of okay. course, of course. Okay. <laughs> yeah. okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for Mr. Alex Lusenko. Okay, uh, as I can see, uh, there, there is uh, no any question here yeah? in a uh, chat. Oh, in the chat. Okay, okay, I guess there is a uh, Lucen, Mr. Lucensko. But the, okay, already, uh, I guess in the chat, I have uh, answer on the question from Surensko, okay, from Mr. Alex Lucensko. Uh, Fabiana is absensi. Alex Lusenko. Okay, this is the Mr. Alex. Okay. The height resolution, I have answer as long as uh, follow your money. But the education is, I guess, the only thing is on follow your money. How much your money you have. Okay. And Alex Lusenko. Okay. Okay. I guess uh, no question. Is there any more question? Okay, 
I think, uh, first of all, we should uh, say thank you very much, dear Professor Adi, for your lecture and presentation. Of course, uh, I should note that it was a great month with uh, Stockholm University. Uh, we had four, lecture, uh, four lectures from uh, your professors. So uh, I would like to thank Fabriana and Navita for uh, arranging, uh, arranging this meeting, uh, providing us with the link, uh, creating such a uh, Zoom rooms, uh, providing us with information materials. Uh, I hope we will cooperate. Uh, I hope for fruitful cooperation in the future. So uh, dear colleagues, dear students from uh, Alessandrov Dnipropetrovsk National University, thank you very much for your connecting, uh, for your attending uh, these uh, lectures. And uh, uh, I think uh, we will uh, keep in touch with our Indonesian colleagues. So uh, I hope uh, it's not uh, last uh, meeting here, and uh, we will have another uh, other. Um, join meetings, uh, mutual lectures, and so on. So thank you, all of you. Okay, uh, maybe I would like to say something about uh, uh, Indonesia and Ukraine, because uh, we have news from, from uh, the news, from the newspaper. At first, we have a little bit shock from, because we get information from uh, tests. ISS, uh, the Russian, Russian uh, news that Mr. Jokowi, our president, will go to Russia. Uh, but uh, Mr. Jokowi said that uh, is, we, he will go to Russia and to Russia meeting with Mr. Putin and meeting with Mr. Zelensky. So, uh, in the in the maybe about thirty in the thirty June, thirty June, and this this last month and this this last month, uh, our president will go to Russia and Ukraine and try to hope we can build a peace between Russia and Ukraine. So uh, the war is not keep yeah, and the war can be stopped. I guess uh, we won't. Everyone uh, happy and we want uh, there's no uh, there's no war in in the world. Okay, uh, this there's uh, maybe my addition eh, my, my additional statement because uh, there's a news from Indonesia that our president will go to your country and Russia. Okay. Great, great. Thank you. So. Uh, Goodbye, all of you. Stay healthy and well being. Okay. Okay, bye. Um, sorry. The Mirto. Yeah, may we have a picture together for our audience to take the documentation? Sorry, it seems a little bit unclear. Could you repeat? Yeah. Maybe for our audience can open for camera. I will to take a picture together. Yeah, thank you. Ah, mm -hmm. Turn on our camera, yeah. I will take the picture now. One and two. Yeah, is it enough? Yeah, enough. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Hey, goodbye.